everybody, it's Greg Bedard from bostonsportsjournal.com here. The Patriots are getting off the field now from their sixth practice now, second padded practice of training camp. And the offense will be on a lot of people's minds. I think uh, yesterday I used the phrase uh, abject failure and disaster. The question is, was it any better today? Uh, I would say about one or two percent better. Um, it was it's, it was not good again. Uh, it, things did get better towards the end of practice when they were in the red zone and they went to more of their traditional passing offense. But in terms of the run game, the Shanahan influence, they're having a really tough time. They're having a tough time blocking it. And it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, you know, it takes baby steps to get better. It's a very, very uh, high precision rhythm type of offense and you really need a lot of reps and things like that and you know just for example when they went to 11 on 11s and it was first team offense versus the third team defense uh first play was a running play outside zone for about four yards then henry anderson had a sack then lawrence guy had a stuff uh, a two yard run and then a sack and then towards the end of practice when they went to 11 on 11s and they it was more run based uh, first play, uh, Henry Anderson jumped up, deflected a pass uh, real quickly, uh, had a quick pass to Johnu Smith, which was complete. Damian Harris got stuffed on the next play, a, a pass in a flat to Hunter Henry, and then uh, uh, Jawan Bentley ran through on a sack to end the first team's reps, and Cole Strange is getting coached by Bill Belichick and Billy Yates on why did you let that guy run through. Um, like I said, it did get a little bit better in the red zone towards the end, but uh, there's no question that through the first two days of padded practices, the offense is really struggling. And we'll have to see if they can build day after day, but you're starting to wonder if this lasts through the end of the week, do the Patriots reassess? Because the players, if they don't start seeing success on the field, and you look at Mac Jones and you're wondering how much he's buying into this, uh, they're going to need to find success or else they're going to start to lose a little bit of faith. So offense still a huge concern at this point. It's not an abject failure or abject disaster, but uh, it, it, it's not good. Uh, I will give my player of the day on the defense. Christian Barmore, again, was a complete wrecking ball from one-on-ones to team periods. He's all over the place. He can't be blocked inside. So I thought he did an excellent job, and that's a great sign. Year two, after having so much success as a rookie, some guys sort of rest on their laurels, come in the second year, maybe a little bit overweight, not as much desire. Not the case with Christian Barmore so far. He has been, you put pads on, that's when the big boys stand out. He has stood out. So that's it from Patriots Camp. I'm Greg Bedard from bostonsportsjournal.com. We'll see you guys tomorrow.